Well, she's been a princess and a pink lady on Broadway. Now a two-time Tony nominee, Laura Osnes, is singing in the key of love in a sweet new movie. Yeah, Laura stars as Maggie, who gets unexpectedly reunited with her former music partner and ex-boyfriend. And naturally, sparks fly. Take a look. How about, uh, for the road? How about, feel the earth? I don't know any of those songs. Oh, that's because we wrote them. They write their own songs? So place yourself closer. Don't take too long. Operate the real and Laura joins us now. Hi and welcome. Hi, this is your you. film debut? It is. No, so how is that possible? And what, what a great way to start with your talent of singing. So sweet. So tell us about this story because you play a musician who's put down her, her guitar and picked up a camera. Right, exactly. I play a wedding photographer who kind of gave up on her dream um, when her and her music partner slash boyfriend broke up and um, yeah, they're forced to cross paths again when he shows up at this wedding that she is shooting and uh, perhaps they rekindle their love for each other and the music they used to create yeah, together. Maybe they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, the music is so good in this and you're playing a songwriter. Did you have a hand in writing any of the music for uh, it? I wish I did. Um, I actually know the composer and lyricist, her name is Julie Foldesai, and we worked together on Broadway years ago, oh, and I wow. think she kind of helped put my name in the hat for this project, so I'm very grateful ah. to her. And the chemistry between you and Michael Scott, S Scott, uh, Scott Michael Foster, Michael Foster yes. is so great. I love <laughs> the two of you together, so any chances of seeing you guys together again? Oh, I would perhaps? love that. We had such a great time together, and I think the movie kind of sets itself up for a potential sequel, it so does. I might be kind of keeping my fingers crossed for that. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> what will happen, but I would love to work with him again. Yeah. Yes, That's the way it goes wonderful. at Hallmark oftentimes, <laughs> yeah. right? No. It's, you, you will revisit these you, Don't characters. you want to see the band, like go on yes, tour? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, more I do. music, yeah. Is it true that great. you all shot this in three weeks? Yes, three weeks in Vancouver. How is that possible? Is fast and furious. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're used to spending a long time on a project from your many Broadway shows that you've done. Absolutely. What was it like doing something so fast? That was one of the, like, toughest challenges I think yeah. the difference is because you don't get a month of rehearsal you literally you know we shot the whole thing in 15 days of actual what? Um, so the shooting schedule so yeah it was crazy you yeah. don't get previews you don't yeah. get you know a month of rehearsal to figure it out before anyone sees it you're just kind of trusting your instincts and diving in you're so. probably like let's just keep singing more singing. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you're heading to speaking of singing you're heading to 50 <laughs> Feinstein's 54 below yes uh, with Tony Yazbek this and weekend. you're singing all Gershwin songs so yes, like diving into that catalog. It's wonderful. We have a duet concert called Things Are Looking Up, and uh, we get to tap dance together a little what? bit too, which is super fun. Um, yeah, we're playing this uh, Sunday and Monday night. And you guys did um, a concert before called Crazy For You yes. show, and it was in, so highly acclaimed. We had a one night concert at Lincoln Center, and it was yeah. that's kind of what brought us together and inspired both of our, you know, our love for Gershwin music. We thought we got to do a night of Gershwin classics. And now I think a lot of people are hoping that Crazy For You becomes a more like yes, there has Broadway been rumors again. of a Broadway revival okay. that we're still kind of keeping our fingers crossed for, kind of waiting for the right timing and seeing if a theater opens. So, again, yeah, I would love for that to happen. Yeah. Well, something else that you're working on that you've been doing, the Broadway princess parties. We heard about this and yes. we were like, yes, please. Yes. You want to tell us about this for folks who don't know. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Um, it's a concert series I co-created um, with my music director and friend, Ben Rahula, and we toured the country. It's me and three other original Broadway princesses singing the best princess songs in the book come and on, that's I just love that. people dress up and come it's for kids and grown-ups um, thank you for not leaving just, out the adults yeah well, <laughs> you know, my generation grew up with these movies too and then moms are coming with their daughters yeah. and like grandmas are coming with you know the, the people yeah. who are my age and um, it just it speaks to such a vast audience yeah. and we found we've really been able to great idea yes. thank you it's so idea. sweet thanks yes yeah, so we just want to give you a little shout out too for your moment in um, Fosse Verdon oh yeah so many Broadway <laughs> stars are, were part of that too too. So what was it like on set? You played Shirley MacLaine, which is yes, amazing. Yes, I had one little moment as Shirley MacLaine, and it was wonderful. I was just one day on set, um, so I got to have a scene with Sam Rockwell and Michelle Williams, and they were How absolutely amazing. lovely. Have you yeah. met Shirley MacLaine? Have you ever met her? No, no, actually, but I watched a lot of YouTube videos in preparation yeah. for I'll that bet. moment. <laughs> All right, well, be sure to catch In the Key of Love Monday, July 1st at 8 p.m. on Hallmark. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>